Electric vehicles are great, but let's be honest, it's more convenient to fill up a fuel tank with gasoline than sit around and wait until the battery is full. It takes so long that sometimes you even have to talk to other people at the charging place. Ugh. Well, this new battery from researchers at Cornell might solve the problem. Let's have a look. Lithium batteries or any batteries really have two poles, plus and minus, called the anode and cathode. When you use the battery, negatively charged ions will move from the minus to the plus side through a substrate called an electrolyte. This movement of charges creates a current that powers your device. When you recharge the battery, these particles have to move back from the plus to the minus side so that you can use it again. So the battery has these three main ingredients, the anode, the cathode and the electrolyte. And since all good things come in threes, for a good battery, you need a mix of materials with three properties. First, you need something that can reliably and durably store charges. That is, the battery needs a low self-discharge rate. It must also be possible to repeat the process of using and recharging the battery repeatedly. That is, you want a long life cycle. And third, you also want something that can store a lot of charge in a small place that is a high energy density. Lithium-ion batteries score high on all three counts, which is why they have become so widely used. In a lithium-ion battery, the cathode contains lithium, hence the name. The anode is usually graphite, though there is some variety in materials. Currently, the fastest charging lithium batteries for electric vehicles can go from 20 to 80% in about 15 to 20 minutes. However, these extra fast charging batteries are more expensive than the usual ones, which take two or three times as long. Of course, it's not just electric vehicles, but pretty much any other mobile device that's now powered by lithium batteries. Phone, tablets, cameras. My new phone, that's a Samsung S24, takes about 60 to 90 minutes to fully charge. No, it's not the ultra version. Does anyone really need a terabyte of storage? Do you? For what? The new research now comes from Cornell University and was just published. It's an experimental work in which they test a new type of battery. They used a combination of lithium and indium in the battery anode. Usually the anode is made of graphite. Indium is element 49 of the periodic table. It's a metal, and the reason it's called indium is because it has a spectral line that is indigo blue. It has two important properties that made the researchers think it'd be good for the task. First, indium has what's called a low migration energy barrier. This isn't a political statement about economic refugees. It means that the ions have a small energy barrier to overcome when one charges the battery. Basically, they move easily. And second, indium has a small exchange current density, which means it can store energy for a long time. In their tests, the researchers were able to charge the battery in about two minutes and show stability in over 1,000 cycles. Now, this sounds quite promising, but there are a lot of ifs and buts. First of all, they quote an energy density of 145 watt-hours per kilogram, which isn't bad, but about half of that of current lithium-ion batteries. Then there's the question how robust such a battery is and how well it copes with different temperatures. There's also the issue that indium is at the moment mostly produced as a byproduct of zinc mining. It'd probably be difficult to rapidly increase its supply because there's very little direct production. And then there is the question whether it even matters how fast the thing charges. Because I believe what people with range anxiety are worried about is not so much that it'll take a long time to charge an electric vehicle. It's that they must stop and charge it to begin with. If I had a choice between a lithium-ion battery that takes an hour to charge and one that's twice as large but charges in five minutes, I'd stick with the lithium battery. I can't really think of any situation where I need to charge a phone in five minutes. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Knowledge is power. I really believe that. And there's no better place to grow your knowledge than Brilliant.org. Whether you're into coding, math, science, or just want to level up your problem-solving skills, 
Brilliant's interactive courses make learning really fun and engaging. I've been digging their probability course recently and that made me fully realize how much of this stuff I'd completely forgotten. Whether you want to know more about solar panels, neural networks, astrophysics, special relativity or computational biology, Brilliant has you covered. And they're adding new courses each month. I like the place so much, I even have my own course there. That'll introduce you to the most important basics of quantum mechanics. That's interference, superpositions and entanglement, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And afterwards, maybe you want to continue their course on quantum computing or quantum objects. Sounds good. I hope it does. All you need to do now is use our link brilliant.org slash Sabine. 30 days are free and the first 200 of you will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Yep, you heard that right. 20%. Go on, click that link because I really want smart people like you to be in power. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.